I think it was really important when developing Modern History Transformed as a textbook that we clearly identified what the indicative hours were in relation to the syllabus and that we could provide teachers and students with a great opportunity to be able to go into depth with the topics that we were covering in that particular textbook. So I think both teachers and students will find that the textbook enables you to go into great depth and detail in regards to the content and there's certainly great opportunity in terms of skill development. And essentially that's critical in terms of being able to develop our students into historians. That they understand the content, that they have the details, and at the same time they have the ability to communicate those ideas in a sophisticated, detailed and coherent format. Again, key terms that are entrenched in the syllabus in regards to how students need to communicate their ideas. I think if you look at chapters like the decline and fall of the Romanovs and the Cuban revolution of Latin America, I think teachers and students will both find that all bases are covered. Uh, we're able to provide personality profiles, we're able to provide great coverage on thematic uh, studies in relation to those areas. Uh, issues like czarism and communism uh, are dealt with in, in enormous detail. And I think that's important because A, it must reflect the indicative hours, but B, we want to ensure that there are no sections that have been shortchanged. We want to ensure that when students are studying from modern history transformed, they have the capacity to understand the period. They know the timeline, they know the key events, they know the key personalities, and as a result, that enables them to meet the challenges that the syllabus is able to guarantee for our students and our teachers.